peeps, welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How we doing? Hope everybody is okay. Don't forget, if you like this video and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Also drop a thumbs up on the video, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Right, let's get into it, shall we? So, we pick up on six wins on the uh, foot champions, mesh champions, delay champions, whatever you want to call it. This is the team that we played in the first batch of games. This is the team we're going to play in this batch of games. However, the team will change for the last batch of games. Before we get into that, let's crack on with the action though. Before we get into the changes and stuff, we've got these games to play. Now, these were played Saturday afternoon um, and it was heavy for me, man. It wasn't nice at all. Uh, just the typical Saturday gameplay where nothing... Nothing quite went right for us. Um, I think I need to stop playing Saturday afternoons, man, because it's it's just not a mess, right? Look at this goal here we conceded. He turns into my goalkeeper with Pele. He doesn't even shoot. He loses control of the ball. It bounces off my goalkeeper's leg straight into his path and we can see the goal. And that kind of told you, you know, tells you all you need to know about how the gameplay was. This is a loss. We took a loss on that because my head just went, right? Uh, and this was one of the few losses that we did take on Saturday afternoon. We, 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 we won some games, obviously. Um, I'm not going to show you every single loss. If you was watching live over on Twitch, you obviously saw them. Some were tough to take, right? Uh, and a couple, you know, or one was was deserved. It was just, it was just a mess, man. It was, a, it was, it was just not nice. It was not nice. But we we soldiered on, right? We did it. We had it. We did it with a sort of smile on our face. We carried on playing. But if you want to see it live, you can, as I said, watch us live over on Twitch. All the links you need are in the description down below. So we take some losses here and there. We take some wins. This is one of the wins. We do go one nil up. That 1-0 turns into 2-0. Nice little play between Kimmich and the other boys as Kimmich bangs it into the back of the net. Then, totally against the run of play, we conceded a goal, right? We was on him for like nearly 60 minutes, consistently breaking him down. And then he just got a little bit lucky, banged it into the back of the net with Clover, and it goes 2-1. Straight away, afterwards, we gave away a penalty, which was dubious again, but... It is what it is. And it went to 2-2. And then we was on the back foot then. He seemed to get the momentum and shift of play. And we couldn't, we just couldn't do anything. We couldn't get out of defence. And he went 3-2 up after us being 2-0 up, battering him for 60 minutes. In like 15 minutes in in-game play, he went from 2-0 down to 3-2 up. However, back end of the game, we made a few tactical changes here and there, and we just applied the pressure for the last 10 minutes of the game to try and get back into it. And it eventually, it eventually wore off in like the last kick of the game. We're trying our hardest. Mane eventually breaks through, bangs it into the back of the net, and we go into extra time. Into extra time then, and we do manage to win it. Van Bergen, Michael Van Gerwen on as a sub. Playing absolutely perfect. Jones on a sub as a sub for Balak. Um, and then I think we also brought Ronaldo on. But we managed to snip the victory. 4-3. Mane again. And it was tough, man. We was 2-0 up. We went 3-2 down in like 15 minutes of in-game play. Totally against the runner play. And this was what we found was happening on a Saturday. We'd have good stretches. We'd have good periods of play. You know, contending with the heaviness. Contending with the delay a little bit. Um, and then it would just it just overtook us and we couldn't control certain aspects of the game and it was tough with some some games we managed to come back into it other games we just couldn't see it through and we ended up taking some hours but it, hey, it is what it is this game we go one nil down we managed to get back into it though on the 65th minute jones on for a sub as well because we got an injury to balak and bringing jones on instead of balak makes me probably think that Balak isn't the one for the way that we play, right? I think it, we always knew we was taking a risk with Balak playing too high medium defensive, you know, too high attacking uh, medium defensive players in a defensive position. We always knew we was taking a risk, right? So I think I could tell the difference from bringing Jones on either in the extra, the extra times or when um, the fatigue on Balak was a little bit too heavy. I could see the difference, right? And I think, 
think that Jones will be coming back into the team for the last batch of games. We took a chance on the Balak. I think he's going to be very useful going forward anyway for different squads that we may, may want to make. So I don't regret doing him. Uh, and I think if we get a more like defensive CDM, I think he'd be good as the other person in the CDM. I just think because Kimmich is our other CDM, having two high attacking, medium defensive work rate CDMs, I think it's leaving us a little bit exposed at the back. So that's one of the changes that we will be making uh, for the last batch of games on Foot Champions for this weekend league. And then the other change we'll have a look at the end of the video as we get to our last game on this video and it's against eggs and salt i don't know if you like eggs and salt some people prefer eggs and toast he likes eggs and salt i mean whatever floats your boat right whatever floats your boat this was an extensively heavy game it was uh, all caught everybody was caught in midfield uh nobody could really do anything for like the first 50 odd minutes of the game and then we eventually managed to get a breakthrough Mane with a ball into Mares, beautiful little dink over the keeper to take us to one nil and again stuck in midfield all the way until the 80th minute against the run of play again he managed to snatch one back with Zaha we tried some tackles uh, we couldn't quite get the ball out again that crappy little pass from Jones because of the gameplay was just like a little bit heavy and stuff but it is what it is Zaha gets it into the back of the net 1-1 one, one. 85 minutes on the clock though we do manage to get ourselves a beautiful beautiful winner again Van Bergen Michael Van Gerwen on as a sub down the right hand side of the field we see Kimmich in the middle we whip a ball straight into the middle of the box Kimmich with the volley 2-1 absolutely beautiful Van Bergen man if you haven't again I say if you haven't done the Van Bergen cards he's one of the best super subs you can get on this game absolutely phenomenal and that take that took us two 10 wins uh, i think we're on like five losses or something at this stage it might be, i don't know it's criminal anyway how many losses are on but 10 wins means we do get an extra player pick can we get a decent one i wouldn't mind one man i wouldn't mind a one man but we end up walking away with 84 soria that is the most soria card i've ever seen in my entire life 84 rated i mean it's an extra 84 rated right do you know what we're going to do? We're going to bang him into one of these SBCs. Hell yeah. Right. Last night's content, we got 85 times 5, which we're not going to be doing. Uh, I thought I'll comment what the other thing was. We're not doing that anyway. And we've got the Bender brothers, right? Sven and Lars. Both look pretty decent, right? Now, for this weekend league, we purchased Klosterman at centre back. So we've lost some coins instantly on Klosterman because the uh, Sven has made Klosterman's card go down by about 40k. So we're still going to keep on to Klosterman. I may do I may do the Sven at another date, but I'm definitely going to do the Lars at this stage, right? Two 84 rated squads, I think it is. Um, I think we're joining the Rat Gang, man. I think we're going to end up playing a right back at centre back, and we're going to join the Rat Gang, and we're going to do it because whatever way you look at it, this card looks brilliant, right? He looks fantastic if you play him at right back, but we've already got an untradeable Cancelo. Um, and then we may do the centre back to. I don't know what we're going to do with the centre back, right? We may end up doing the centre back, but we're definitely going to do the right back. And I'll show you the team that we're going to set up for the last section of Foot Champs. So that's the first section completed of the two sectioned. Uh, SBC that come in around about 90,000 coins for us give or take um, and as you know we did that Vardy experiment now because of the way the SBCs are working rather than make profit on Vardy and sell them we've ended up just banging them into SBCs but technically we ended up paying for Vardy but they're free with the profit that we made from selling off the other Vardy so even though we've got 28k in Vardy's through the SBCs we did yesterday and today's SBC, they technically didn't cost us that because that was made from the profit of what we got from flipping Vardy's, if that makes sense. Um, and then uh, we put, we banged another Vardy into this, which again is listed at 28k. So effectively, the SBC did cost us around about 120,000 coins liquid. Out of that, 56, 57,000 coins is, is two Vardy's, which was made from the profit of selling the other Vardy's, right? So it kind of all balances itself out but even still man 120 odd k liquid for this sbc 
I think it's pretty decent. I don't think it's bad at all. Uh, we've got two weeks on these SBCs, so I may end up doing the centre-back version as well. But as it stands at the moment, this right-back's being done with the intention of actually playing him at centre-back. Uh, and then obviously we've got an untradeable Alaba, right? So we've got tradable Klosterman and an untradable Alaba. Um, so we can either, you know, we can either keep Klosterman and then just leave Alaba just floating, or we can put Alaba in and then uh, sell off the Klosterman. So I think what we're going to do for the rest of the weekend league, I think I'm going to try it with Klosterman as we've got coins in him, right? There's no point instantly selling Klosterman straight away because I think he's naturally got down because people have got out of him and decided just to sell out, right? Um, so I think we're going to keep Klosterman. Hopefully he goes up a little bit because we're currently losing around about 40 odd, 50,000 coins on the Klosterman. So hopefully he goes up and picks up a little bit more. If he doesn't, we sell him and then we just offset that cost onto the price of the uh, Bender SPC. So this is what the team looks like at the end of play right at the end of play we're bringing in the bender card this is what it's going to look like and as i said we're going to play with the clusterman at center back and then the bender when we do it or if we don't i don't know if we do end up selling uh clusterman then we'll start rocking with the alaba sbc but i think we're probably going to make a change with balak as well but if we go back to the actual bender sbc if we look at him even on seven chem at center back with a shadow this card looks absolutely phenomenal. He's got the agility, he's got the balance. 90 agility, 89 balance for a card at centre-back. The reason we got rid of Boateng in the first place is because his lack of agility and balance, he wasn't being able to track like your nay nays and stuff like that. This card will be able to do that. He's got a 99 acceleration, 95 sprint speed for a centre-back, phenomenal. 85 stamina would be an issue if you've got him at right-back, but because we've got him at centre-back, no problem whatsoever. Uh, defensive awareness 93 with the ad added boost obviously we're not getting the full benefits from a shadow because he's only on seven chem anchor might be a play also um i only just put a shadow on just because we've got quite a lot of them um and if i do think i need an anchor instead then we'll i'll just swap it and put an anchor on it's no problem whatsoever so fantastic agility fantastic balance sprint speed acceleration he's got it uh short passing and long passing is okay pretty decent enough better than a lot of center backs to be able to play out of the box honestly i can't think of a bad thing about this card uh, obviously the ocd starts coming in a little bit the fact we're playing a, uh, a card off chem but you know what it seems to be the meta this year playing right backs at uh center back so we're going to try it. Now, also, the good thing about this is a medium attacking and high defensive work rate. His work rate, everything, just scream centre-back with the added pace. I think this is going to be a good addition. And for around about 120,000 coins liquid, I'm happy with it. So, let me know if you've done either of the Bender Brothers. And let me know if you're going to play, especially if you've done this one right here. You're going to play him at right back or you're going to be a rat and play him at centre back like me. Hopefully it pays out. Let's see in tomorrow's video when we finish off the rest of our foot champions games. But for now, my friends, we are out of here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in a bit.